Yo, what is going on guys? This is Rod from OTL Gaming TV and in this video we're going to be showing you a little bit of customization gameplay from the app. Now, this is going to be clearly what the game is going to be looking like as well guys. They look similar to how Payback is. So before we even do this, so this app basically is like how GTA is. You're able to customize your car, uh, put them on um, online so people can rate them, take your libraries, etc. And you're able to rate these online. So basically all the cars that you're seeing right now are the cars that you're able to get in the beginning of the game obviously you can store as many cars as you want the whole car list can be over here where it says all cars and then it says your saved cars are the ones that you've customized and you can drive online so right now in this app this guy's going to be customizing the uh, Chevy Corvette now the app as you guys can see this is going to be the, the customization gameplay in the actual need for speed look you're in the garage already you see in the garage in the trailer the graphics are obviously going to be a lot better than this because this is based on the iOS and Android. So they're limited to how the game is going to be looking on a uh, phone or a tablet. But as you guys can see, the customization, there's a lot to do. It's similar to Payback though, because in Payback you can customize the hell out of your car. As you can see, look, the, the paint, the coat of the paint, the effect of it. See, it's got the shiny finish to it. Window tints. No, that, you know, that's not a surprise. That was already in a... Uh, payback you can obviously change the rims this and that so what the app was actually showing is uh, what you're able to do for this app is similar to how GTA is guys you know how you're able to buy a car change the rims of it change the paint number plate all of that well not really the paint on, on GTA but in this one you can you are able to create so you can build the cars exactly how you want and drive it in the game exactly how you want any cars that you collect so as you guys could see in the beginning of the video there was a little uh, crate I think in the game you're able to drive around collect crates to unlock these hidden cars like the abandoned cars in the crew 2 and then you're able to customize them and upload them so you can drive them or you can have other people with your library and you know it's a payback as well so there's like four steps to this. It goes, you can never have too many cars. The cars tabs put all the vehicles you have access to right at your fingertips. Update your custom cars, then add your favorite to your showroom. Want more cars? Each week, a container filled with the hottest releases is all yours. So there you go, guys. This going to be a container. Where I'm pretty sure it's going to be like the abandoned cars. you got to try and find a container. There's a cop chase, and then you win the container. Uh, they're going to be located around the map, of course. Some are so special they'll need to be unlocked with progression points earned by customizing your current rides, creating new wraps, or just spending time with your collection. Now this is something that's from Need for Speed Underground, where it's saying progression points and uh, earned by customizing your current rides. So in Need for Speed Underground 2, the more you customize your car, the more points you got, rating points, 10 stars unlocked, you know, magazines for those you don't remember, photo shoots, uh, and other things like that. What they're doing is they're trying to implement a bit of Need for Speed Underground 2 into here. Instead of uh, including like a rate my ride type of thing, the more you customize your car, you use those points to unlock these uh, crates. Moving on, it says, welcome to the showroom. Open the app to enter your showroom where all of your favorite cars will be on display. Again, all the cars that you have in the game will be on the app available for you to customize. It goes, these are cream of the crop, the customs you've really put your heart and soul into. Change things up when you add new designs or move a classic to workshop for some high-end tinkering. All right, moving on. It says, express yourself in the workshop. So you chose the car from the showroom, you move it to the workshop to customize it. This is your space to make each car your own. Go crazy with wide body kits, wheels, exhaust, and more. Use the color sector to put your style on everything from the perfect finish to window tints. Even use the wrap editor to create your own wraps again nothing nothing new there we knew payback had it and as you guys can see in the video similar customization to payback hoods body kits wide bodies tires etc and then you go share your hard work in the capture lab this is what i mean by you can download other people's library so it makes it easy for you you go set up all shots and videos in capture lab to instantly add your favorites anywhere from your driveway to highway to snap to share from to share them on facebook instagram twitter or add them to your gallery for later and then it goes hustle by day and risk all by night which is the uh, slogan now for Need for Speed Heat. Want to see your customized rides burning up the neon lit streets of Need for Speed Heat? Log into your EA account or create one and you'll be able to play them when the game releases. So getting the app means you need an EA account. 
but you can customize the cars that they give you and then you're able to drive them online when the game actually comes out so looking at the video you know it looks pretty neat as you guys can see the customization is pretty, it's pretty similar to Nathan's P payback I mean most of these rims that we're seeing right now are in um, payback anyway I think the BBS rims are new they went in payback but all the other rims from payback are pretty much in it yeah you can change the tire size I'm trying to see if there's anything actually new. Yeah, we know we had tires before. I don't think you can add anything new apart from interior. This is what I'm going to wait for. I don't think there's interior customization still, guys. No cockpit view. All you need for speed fans out there. But I can see the interior is blue, though. I don't know if it was like that in the, in the beginning or. Hmm. It's making the car look pretty neat, though. I ain't gonna lie. So anyone can download this app right now. If you go in the App Store and you type in Need for Speed Heat Studio. It will come up but this is literally a glimpse of the customization in what the game is going to look like just to be a little better graphics there you go new secret card locked ride height we don't yeah this again is in payback for those of you that don't know looks pretty neat i ain't gonna lie okay what is that okay oh there you go i think the decal editor's gone a little bit better i'm hoping like the last one, I, I got confused in the beginning, then they made it easier and easier. The best vehicle editor, in my opinion, is from Midnight Club. Rockstar know how to make vehicle editors. Rockstar know how to make a game, but let's just see. So as you guys can see, the, the decals are still the same from Payback. Most of them are from Payback. Additional new ones, there you go. I see that Black Panther logo there. Pretty sure straight up, Paypal is going to be there too. You need the OTR logo in there, guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Madness. Right, let's, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed up this video, guys. So we're gonna have to wait for the whole customization. But yeah, yeah, you can change the size of the decals again. It it, it looks kind of easier on the phone actually, because on the PS4 it was more complicated. But now that you can get it on your phone, it looks like it's an easier thing to do. But yeah, guys. So this is the gameplay footage I wanted to show you guys. You can watch the rest of the video. Um, Obviously, the graphics are going to be way better online when you're in uh, PS4, PC, or Xbox. But this is exactly what it's going to look like when you're playing uh, Need for Speed Heat. So you're getting a little early footage. Anyway, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Peace.